so my car just got washed right now it looks very clean i went there by the car wash at marua mall car wash just by deloitte nee, it's 150 because i feel like that's expensive but like my the car is very very clean but this is how my boot looks like so after i got my results the weekend because we got our apc results on friday and then saturday it was sunday i went to my aunt's place by the way i moved out of my aunt's place um if you know how this last thing with my aunt since i started my articles so i went to go get my books and i have nowhere to put them so i'm just dropping some off so tell me why it's raining i don't know if the lighting is good why it's raining after i just washed the car <laughs> but anyway i think what i'll do is i will take pictures of all the books that i still have then i'll like leave them at the end of the video because i just gave the away some uh and then you can just dm me as i said i'll get inside and then what i want to show you is what i had in my apc file 2023 so this is my file here so because the lighting is not that good right now like i feel like it's just not good <laughs> so once i get inside i will show you what i had Okay, so I hope you guys can see me clearly. My next purchase is a ring light because my lighting is not the best at all. I'm using natural light. So this was my file. Okay, I bought this file when I was in university. I had like, there was a thing, a flight, UP competition for international student. You had to like write down your experience and whatnot. Then I got a, a voucher for 1,500 from bookmark. So I remember I bought my Bible. I bought two files. I was a white one and a pink one okay so if you know if you saw my videos like when i was in university you have seen like files on my on my shelf so i have had this one um so yeah so this was my file you are allowed to have a, i think it's an eight centimeter arc is it arc, arc liver file is it arch i think it's arc liver file uh that's what you are allowed to go in with in the exam okay so the first thing I had, so you see, it, I, it was not full at all. So I probably, I feel like this is even a lot. So the first thing I had was my letter, my exam entrance letter. Like this is like, pardon me. Like this was from Icon. It like shows my name and like I needed this and then it shows the venue and whatnot. So that's the first thing. And then the second thing, this was, I think this was the. The assessment this is the iod i think information on the day and then i had also printed out the the case study like from pre-release <sighs> okay and then i know i had written somewhat what is it what is the next thing that i had oh this was my planner so i like planned out uh, so I had blank papers when I went in the exam. Okay, I, I wrote a prayer here. Maybe let me just read what prayer. Father God, I give myself to you. I lay myself all bare before you. Thank you for taking me along this long journey. You have... What? You have taken me or something through. By faith, I declare my passing tomorrow. Or I think this was the day before. I ask that you help me through this final stretch. I ask that you, your angels be with me today and tomorrow. Help me on the day to think clearly. I ask that tomorrow be the end of this journey. May your mighty will be done. I do trust your plans for me are to prosper and never ever to harm me. In your mighty name, I pray. Amen. So I had this in my file actually. So then I had written down like what to do go through frameworks so what i will come and explain what i mean by frameworks like maybe in the next video and i have them printed out in summary oh and oh okay and the printouts i guess time planner printout and watch mini clock i just i think i guess things to remember that i should uh, remember yeah okay anyway so I think these are just notes I had to for myself because when you're writing APC, you need to remind yourself to like explain why you are saying something like, why are we saying this? <laughs> so just things that I had written for myself to remember, like in general, assume, but explain why you are, also, why you are, why what? I don't know. 
and then remember what is the return to the company is this adding value like a secretary can google something what more can you add to what the CEO or CFO is asking value creation why why show how competent you are Penny today we show how highly competent you just things I had written for myself and then I just had like blank papers like to make notes you know like my thought process and then um I mean I just had a lot of these small things to remember like breathe so like I had um but I think this one I, I had written in before like the APC 2022 before the, the first time when I wrote just things to remember like I had a plan for what if I'm asked something that is not as planned like you need to breathe pray and then just think what is the issue why do they want this information value to business and practicality just think you know um so just apply myself you know because one thing about apc there will be things that are not as you have prepared so you kind of just need to remember you have the basic you have the foundation and you got this okay so the next thing i had was i had this planners like i actually had gotten gotten this planner from someone who had previously written i just added on like asking what is the generic issue what do they want what do i know because now you have you already know what is in the pre-release and what you have um what is now what do they want what has changed how did the because yeah what do i have what are they asking now what do i know and then you know remember audience context remember coverage and depth like i had a whole planner do a mini expectation table for yourself and just like think a multidisciplinary and whatnot and then a very interesting thing that i had in my flowers i had typed out my letter myself you know we usually get this um letter like um and i'm pleased to inform you that you've passed your apc written on one day so i'd actually written down this for myself <laughs> i just took the letter i had for i can i put it in my car and then i like you know um what what's funny look at what look at the funny thing i have said i have passed my apc uh but then i have also said i have i'm on the honors roll <laughs> i mean the whole point is i try to aim for did they say sh sh aim for the moon and fall in the stars or whatever so when i went in the exam i'm like i'm going to be highly competent <laughs> I'm going to be highly competent, you know, like this, that was just me being ambitious. But I mean, at the end of the day, you, sh you aim high, you might just fall in the stars. And for me, that was a pass. So I just had wrote myself like a letter for myself. And then, um, so my file had this, I had these dividers, like one, two, like you see this divider so uh, it, it just helped me that this is like task a when i do my pre-release i know this is task a task b task c task what document one document two document three and so forth okay this is just my pre-release that is still in there and then i had like this is written format so there was this i don't know someone just gave it to me pre like people who previously wrote like formats for apc i mean some of these things you already know but i think it's always nice because like when you it's just nice i guess because this is a lot happening so my formats the email meeting notes memorandum report yeah i just had that and then there is formats evidence just formats really okay okay and then we now go to the first one document one so for every document i had a one page like i have a no i think this was not document your document one was the uh, industry research so i just like try to like visualize the the whole industry how does it impact like the external factors inside like micro environment which is like internally like i just try to visualize it so have a little sketch for yourself i think this was just from a document that i took a, uh, a, a snippet and then now I, I had my stakeholder analysis external you know the regulator and whatnot 
and then the pastel analysis and then just generally like this is those general things like like i know in this industry they were like having issues with growth how to reduce their fixed cost so this is just general strategy questions and strategy things i had my repo rate my prime rate infl infl inflation rate just general things that may impact the industry the SWOT analysis SWOT analysis um just generally but then i had to really minimize how many how many papers are this I think there are about 10 papers which i think is still a lot uh these are things that you need to study before you actually go in the exam some of these things i just answered i had my financial analysis some of these things really i just had them but i had already like studied them and like understood which kind of ratios might be applicable or like i think i just had them for the sake of having them right but i really don't think this is necessary but just doing a pre-release like do it very well that was like my in the, my what my what what industry my industry research and then i had this one this was document one which i still think is a lot so this was my one pager so like let me say actually there's an accounting question you know how accounting they'll be like if there's control or whatever maybe it's if you're 16 or if it's if there's what what and a requirement that is met maybe it's going to be is2 or if what 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 is maybe is16 so no have your little mind map already and like no understand and be ready that it can go in any direction just understand both directions so whenever you get like maybe at least something i'm going to mention in my in the video things that i have like changed um things that i actually changed up there like just study your material this is not for you to be like looking at okay anyway let me not uh, go that to, to this video but like yeah this is my one page and then oh, i think i had maybe it wasn't just one page i think i had three pages and then maybe just generally some things like on a high level like i think i used to gpt here but i try to like write notes and like delete things from gpt and like just apply myself already in the pre-release period not just because i think feel like that was one mistake i actually have done the first time like i already i was already applying myself from the case study honestly i just feel like this was unnecessary i just said some of the notes like they were nicely explaining some things i was i really did highlight from the very beginning before this video is too long i think this was the second trigger some of this i take screenshots from the book instead of like trying to go like making a page of the whole book i just like try and take a picture and then come put the screenshot like from different pages this was like one of the triggers you know like this i write in pencil or pen because i on the last day when i find new information i don't go print out anymore like i just need to write them down instead of confusing myself to like go to the office and print out okay this was another this is another document so i try to minimize i feel like this is still a lot because i know i didn't use all of this but this was one document uh this is my document four i had like five pages or five i don't know and then the next document this was my next document you see this is literally my file is almost see i feel like this is a, this is still a lot and then my next one just look at how many pages i have this is my one pager i guess but that's not one page okay do it it was one page and then some of these things i remember getting them from chat gpt but like i tried to apply myself as much as possible so i literally had four documents four papers for one document okay another document okay so that was basically all my research which i still think is a lot and then i had there was this ethics format um analyzing the situation identify the ethical issues good for so good i'm pretty sure some of these things i got them from someone but then i like you see like i got these things from someone like i think when i wrote 2022 i just now i think this time around i realized i've had this thing in my file since 2022 i really tried to apply myself like i wrote down notes and i really knew and understood what i was doing 
you know i just don't have so basically the section that i'm at now i had a whole section for ethics like it was just ethics you know i was prepared that okay what if there's a no clear issue how do you respond to that so i took most of these things from like prior to prior years like i because one thing i noticed about apc there is a certain way to actually answer questions so when it's not clear what what kind of what kind of things do you actually look out for so i highlighted like kind of things what if you have like social media issue you know uh you know social media policy how do you now discuss this what how do you communicate to relevant authorities how do you communicate to your people what 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 i'm pretty sure i have never used this i had this secular from i can how to guidance on determining if an unlawful act is reportable in terms of prevention of organized crimes i'm pretty sure i have never used this but i was like i guess i just said it just for the sake of it in case yeah because then i know the way psyche and i can similar things but then there are little differences that um, reportable irregularities i know in Namibia we say Yo, I forgot. <laughs> what do we say again? Actually, material irregularities. I think that's what we say. I think in South Africa we say reportable irregularities. In India it's material irregularities, if I'm not mistaken. I feel I'm forgetting. But there is a slight difference. Okay. And then I remember I had gone through a question again. I literally had like questions from previous years. But I think this was just unnecessary. I, I, I should have just. Um, did one page summaries on like points after I reading through all this but I had I had them in my file which I really think because this is another this is yeah this is from different years from different years I got from APC but basically what I'm trying to say is I had a section for ethics and then I had different scenarios and like if you really just study those year by year you really see that there is a way to to like answer these questions but I still feel like this is a lot like throughout the whole year try and like really figure out how it's done and do small summaries for yourself this is what's unnecessary because I know I have never actually read through this student exam okay and then I had my name code uh, in Namibia we don't use we don't use king 4 we have king three but we call it's called num code here so we kind of like still use king three it's like num code is adapted from king three okay so i had though i had my i had it in my file i just printed it out and then i just had this nice notes for myself you know resilience go back to the drawing board i know i never read all these things but they kind of just kept me it was just nice i guess having them in the file <laughs> and then what else do i have i had this these are all and then i have blank papers because i was like i need to write things down and like really visualize things and whatnot so i had just blank papers in my file and then i had this um I remember I got this from my varsity. I had these formulas. I'm pretty sure I've never used this. If you don't use them during pre-release, what are the chances that you use them during on the day? Yeah, basically that that's it. These are just think like suggestion solution. I think this is this was an NPV calc like from a previous thing. I just had some of these things, I guess, for the sake of having them. I don't even know why I had them, if I'm being honest. Useless. But I think overall you can see that sometimes you don't really need a lot don't like fill up your file with unnecessary things um really have your summaries because you don't have time to look at these things important things summary your ethics be ready for that always honestly i feel like i'm making this video so long for like unnecessarily i hope this helps do ask me if there is anything please subscribe share like and whatnot the next video will be on what i did differently this time around when i rewrote the apc in 2023